Welcome back friends. In this video tutorial, we'll be talking about a bacteriophage lambda and we'll be talking about different aspects of bacteriophage lam lambda. The structure of bacteriophage lambda, the genome orientation and genome structure and different genes that are responsible for converting uh, the lambda lytic and lysogenic cycle which is very very important topic. Okay. Now, previously we have already talked about that lytic lysogen is switching. So, we'll, in this video, we'll be not talking about that. We'll be talking about how the lytic cycle actually established and how lysogenic cycle. So, let's begin with the structure. Now, lambda is a bacteriophage because it infects a bacteria, right? So, it's a virus that infects bacteria. Now, in this lambda is a, a belonging to the family Cifoviridae because their structure resembling the structure like siphon. Our siphon, we call them the sifoviridae. So let me take the color. Okay. So we call them sifoviridae. And the host for this lambda phage is K12 strain of Escherichia coli. Now E. coli are having many different strains. Among them, uh, K12 is very important strain. And this lambda is infecting those K12 strain of E. coli. Now if we look at the structure of lambda uh, phage, what we can see here, uh, this is an electron micrograph. This is also electron micrograph of lambda phage. Now, in this case, we can see that there are three important regions for this lambda. One is this head. So, this is the head region of lambda phage. Second one is the tail region of lambda phage. And third is called the J chain at the end, right? It's called the attachment fiber or tail fiber. It's called the tail fiber or simply called as J chain. Of lambda. Now this is the chain which is important. It will something look like this. If I draw it schematically, how it will be presented? It will be represented like that. So let's say that this is, and the J chain will something look like this. Okay, and then the icosahedral head will be aligned like that. Okay, so that's how the lambda actually looks like. And the lambda phage is not having any kind of base plates or spikes and all these things that you can. Uh, see in many of the images that you can you are going to find in your book and uh, internet because those type of phages are different those are called usually T4 phages and other type of phages but lambda phages are not having those base um, plate or uh, or this that kind of spikes in turn they are having a kind of tail fiber which is required for their attachment right or adherence to the host cell and they are having this kind of uh, contractile tail, uh, non-contractile tail, sorry. Now, there are different, there is a difference between this lambda phase and T4 phase. If, if I am talking about, uh, in, in my web, YouTube channel, you can find videos and structure about both lambda phase as well as T4, T4 phase. And you can find this in T4 phase, what we can see, that that tail region is kind of contractile. And it behaves like injection. So, this tail region, if this is the length of the tail, it can be contracted to this small amount and due to this contraction they can inject the DNA or genetic material inside the host cell right now but in case of lambda phage the uh, tail that they are made up of this is made up with non contractile rings okay so it, they cannot contract but instead what they can do is that they can push the DNA inside and but 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 this tail region is a little bit longer in case of this lambda uh, whereas in case of T4 this tail region is a little bit shorter okay now uh, the lambda tail region is a little bit more flexible in nature so you can see in these images they are kind of bending and moving and all these things can be done so it's bended like that like that or something like that so they are pretty much uh, flexible and more flexible than the T4 phage, uh, T4 phage contractile ring. Okay, and this tail is uh, is actually made up with two important stages, uh, two important organization. One is uh, this uh, the circular rings, and inside you are having a hollow.